Hello everyone, hope you all are doing great and uh, welcome to this uh, new video where we are going to be talking about uh, creating Toast in Swift UI. So um, if in case you have not seen Toast messages, um, then let me show you a quick demo. Uh, so Toasts are basically small messages uh, that appear when you take some actions and they mostly like you know show you the indication of success uh, or like you know failure and stuff like that so uh, for example I have this list of Tech courses and if I swipe uh, to delete one of the row uh, I get a message uh, that stays uh, like you know for a few moments and then disappears so let, let's take a look at it again it's a good uh, design pattern to basically show our users that something has happened that has taken place or some error has occurred like you know so they gotta fix something so uh, a quick quick indicator of like you know the success message is what toast mainly used for okay so in this video we are going to be creating this toast from scratch completely from uh, in swift ui uh, so there's no external uh, Swift package uh, that we're going to use. We're going to build it out uh, on our own. Uh, that'll uh, basically help you uh, understand Swift UI a little bit better. So it's a good practice. So uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at how to build this experience out. Okay. So um, and before that, um, I also want to mention that uh, uh, there are some updates uh, that I've made recently and on devtechie.com. So I just wanted to quickly show you. First of all, as soon as you uh, land on devtechie.com, um, you can see all the courses that uh, we have published uh, in the marketplace for uh, video courses. And we also have like, you know, pretty rich uh, blog section where you can actually go and learn about like various different things. I'm planning to uh, make videos on these. Uh, so we can add those videos right here uh, so you can watch them or read the blog itself uh, let's go back onto the home page uh, so home page has like you know uh, basically uh, video courses uh, so there are a few that I've already added I'm adding more um, and uh, you're gonna get access to those um, as uh, as like you know in in days forward like you know okay uh, but um, there is one course uh, that uh, is there like you know I just uh, like you know launch this one uh, and this is on a uh, complete reference on text views so this is a free course go ahead and um, uh, check it out uh, all you got to do like you know uh, check out the view course and uh, get it for free uh, and then uh, you're gonna basically uh, be able to take this course on devtechie.com it's a video course uh, it's gonna be available to you free of cost like you know on the website 24 7 whenever you want to watch it okay with that, uh, let me go ahead and start on this uh, toast video, the main topic for today. Okay, so first thing what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna build out our uh, model. So um, I'm gonna basically just build everything out here. So we're gonna create a struct. I'm gonna call this DT course. Uh, we're gonna make this identifiable because we wanna put this in the list and uh, um yeah so i'm gonna create uuid uuid string and name string okay uh only two properties we're gonna create an extension uh for sample courses and i'm gonna create a static variable called sample which is going to return a list of dd course okay and um, I'm gonna paste uh, some of the courses. These are real courses. If you're interested in, uh, please check them out on devtechie.com. But yeah, so these are like, you know, some of the courses that we have um, available. And um, okay, so let's see. Da, 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 da. DT course, let's make sure. Let me go ahead and build collective statement oh of course this is an array okay so that is the that was, that was the mistake okay so we are going to need uh two uh state variables so we're going to need a state variable uh called uh, courses so first we're going to build out uh the uh the list view so dt course dot sample 
okay there's going to be another state variable i'm just going to create this one but we're not going to use it right now um private var show toast uh this is basically going to trigger our toast message um and then uh, we're going to have our um, actual view so it's going to be a navigation view um and then we're going to have a list inside the list we're going to have a for each because i want to attach um, delete operation okay and this is going to be basically going over all the courses give us access to each course and then we're going to have an h stack with an image system name is going to be play.circle.fill and then text is going to be course.name okay all right let's set some modifiers um and i want to resume the uh let's try it again all right build failed all right let me see what's going on here okay all right sorry about that that was one of the code that i included forgot to remove it okay so uh let me go ahead and try it again uh to build the preview okay there we go we have our um, course and i'm gonna start adding some modifiers so font is gonna be title three uh, let's give it a frame and uh there's one thing i want to actually mention here so uh, we're gonna have max width infinity that you already know but like look at this like you know as soon as you set your max uh width to infinity or um our list is sort of like you know um all over the place like the alignment is not right well this is where you can actually make use of the alignment property for the frame and set it to uh leading okay so all the views are aligned properly all the text views are aligned properly i'm gonna add some padding foreground color um i'm gonna set it white and uh, background color our background is gonna be uh, color dot orange and we're gonna put this inside a rounded rectangle with corner radius of 20 points we're gonna mark it clipped uh, and the reason is uh, i want to add a shadow okay of five points so i'm gonna show you like you know the difference between clipped uh, adding clip modifier and uh, not adding clip modifier so if you take a look uh, at this like you know uh, when you are adding a shadow the modifier is applied to all the content that there is like you know so shadow is applied everywhere on each and each and every view that is present like you know that comes before this shadow modifier if i add clipped that's gonna apply the shadow only on the card itself. So if your use case is where you just wanna drop the shadow for the rectangle, go ahead and add clipped. If you your use case is basically shadow everywhere, then just don't add clipped, okay? Uh, I like it with the clipped, so I'm gonna add it because I do only wanna add uh, shadow for the uh, card itself, okay? Uh, now what I want to do is I want to actually quickly create on delete and uh, this is gonna give us an index set okay and I'll use this index set and uh, for each on these so it, it's gonna give me individual index and I'm gonna take that that index and remove that item from that index in the course courses list okay just temporarily removing to create this uh, delete functionality now once this is done we want to show our toast so we're gonna we're gonna come back to this comment okay now um once we have done that i also want to hide our uh, list row separator so i'm gonna say list row separator is hidden and i'm gonna apply list style to be a plain style okay and uh, let me okay yeah so and we want to add a navigation title dev techie courses like so 
All right. So this is our view. Uh, if you run it right now, uh, you should be able to delete and stuff. No toast messages right now because we haven't added that. So let's go ahead and add. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a struct called toast view. This is going to be the view which is going to use a toast. Okay, so I need a model for this. So I'm going to just temporarily create this view and I want to create a toast model. Now, toast model is going to be very simple. It's going to have a title of type string and image of type string. Okay, so image is going to be basically SF symbol image. Okay, and um, the view itself is going to expect toast to be passed in. Okay, now you can, if you're following MVVM or if you plan to create a, a view model, I just want to quickly show you how you can create it. You can enhance it, like you know depending upon your need okay i'm going to also create a binding uh, for show so we can hide this uh, from the uh, toast view okay um and then our body body is going to be a v stack with a spacer and then h stack we're going to have the image system name system name Toast dot image. Then I have a text. Toast dot title. And then we're gonna set the font to be headline, foreground to be primary. Let's add some padding. So I wanna pa add padding for top and bottom. Uh, top and bottom. Okay, so you can do that or you can do dot vertical. Okay, top and bottom is vertical so or vertical side. So vertical um, and then uh, we're going to do the horizontal, which is like leading and trailing uh, about 40 points. Okay, background, we're we going to add a gray background with opacity 0 0.4 and also we're gonna show this inside a capsule and uh, then uh, we're gonna set a frame okay and uh, the width is gonna be ui screen dot main dot bounce dot width and we need 1.25 times like you know so we're gonna divide by 1.25 uh, to get the the width um, in height we don't need so we're gonna um, just leave it at that okay and uh, then we want to apply a transition to this and transition is uh, this is uh, I learned like you know basically there is a bug if you don't define as tra like any transition sometimes your transitions don't work so make sure you actually define it as any transition dot move and uh, we want to move it from the bottom and we want to combine this transition with opacity as well okay and uh, we want to say on tap gesture we want to basically hide this um, with animation so self dot show is equal to false so we're going to set this to false okay and um, along with this we're going to say on appear we want to dispatch so we want to move to um, basically the uh, dispatch queue dot main dot async after so we want to hide uh, basically if the view is showing uh, we want to hide it after a certain time so we're going to say async after deadline is going to be now plus three seconds okay so we want to hide that uh, toast after three seconds and we want to hide that with animation so with animation and uh, we're going to say self dot show uh, is equal to false as well okay so that's our toast view now um how let me, let me make sure we actually build now the way we can use it we can use it directly but i want to create an extension like first of all i want to create a generic view that takes the content 
in the toaster itself and like you know align it properly so we're gonna create a struct called overlay okay uh, now this is gonna be generic type so it's gonna take type t uh, which is gonna be of type view and it's gonna uh, basically conform it's gonna be like you know conforming to view modifier protocol and um, we're gonna have a binding this is gonna expect uh, for show basically so we can hide it and um, we're gonna say overlay view is gonna be the type T okay now we are to provide the um, we, we we'll have to provide <laughs> the body so let's provide the body for this guy and we're gonna say we're gonna show the content in Z stack and we're gonna take the content whatever the content wherever overlay is applied to and we can also say if the show is true show overlay view now this overlay view is going to be our toast okay so show the overlay view and that's about it so let's add this extension onto the view uh, basically add this view modifier onto the view so we're going to create um, extension to the view called overlay with uh, with type t conforming to view so whichever t where like you know it's of type view take that and uh, expectation is to pass an overlay view of type t with show as binding of type boolean okay now this is going to return some view all right and then we're gonna call self dot modifier okay and uh, this is where we're gonna say overlay dot init you can do that or you can do simply that um, show and overlay is going to be overlay view like so okay let me go ahead and build now just one last step we want we want to apply this overlay and we want to apply this overlay on to this um this list okay so we want to move this list inside the uh, z stack right the content that you have created right here so we want to move this list inside that so content is going to be the list itself so we want to say overlay okay and uh, we want to use overlay view uh, so overlay view is going to be our toast view and the toast we're going to create right here with title deleted okay and the image is going to be trash and uh, we want to use that show toast that we created right here as show and we want to also bind this to our overlay um, so show toast like the like that okay now um, we want to show this so this is just adding the view itself so view is added but it's not like you know gonna display anything if you delete because we are not calling uh, or toggling the state of show toast so let's just say show toast dot toggle once you once we are done deleting okay with that, let's go ahead and resume this. I'm gonna stop and start, okay? And let's go ahead and delete. There we go. And three seconds, it's gonna disappear. Another one, three seconds, it's gonna disappear. Okay, all right. So with that, like we have reached the end of this video. Once again, um, when you, um, if you like, uh, go ahead and check out devtechy.com. Uh, there are several courses that we have added. Uh, there's a newer course uh, that came out recently, Pantry Management using MVVM uh, in iOS 53 and iOS 15 using Firebase. Uh, check that one out. I have an old version of that as well. Uh, but like, make sure you grab your copy of your free course right here, okay? All right, uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you like the video and uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you.